Go on. And some are actually mad because the N word is shown publicly on the exhibit and the gallery's curator tells me some people are so mad they've actually threatened to smash these windows in. If that word makes you uncomfortable, it is doing what it is meant to do. The newest exhibit at the Union for Contemporary Art has become the talk of North Omaha. This is about injustice and murder that is happening to black people in our country. Male, female, transgender, all of us. All of us. That is what this is. Part of it actually greets you outside with direct quotes from Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon. One of the quotes includes the N-word. It really is meant to give you a sense from standing on the street the magnitude of the verbal and physical abuse that black, brown, and native people stand in the face of every day. Well, apparently, it has backfired. I don't think it should be on display out and open like this. Brigitte McQueen Shoes says she's received threats from other black people. They don't agree with her showing the N-word publicly. Some have posted notes over it demanding she take it down. The fact that this black woman quotes the work of another black woman to talk about violence done to the bodies of other black women is offensive to the black men who have come to me and demanded that I take that down is ironic and crazy. If they were uh, having an exhibit about black people being hung, would you want to see a large photo of black people hanging from a tree for the sake of art? McQueen Shu says the point of art is to start a conversation. And she says those threatening her should actually come in to get the full story. If you're going to stand on the street and encourage people to throw bricks at our window without engaging us in a conversation, are we not as wretched and horrible as the people who do violent acts upon us? And regardless of what's being said, McQueen Shoe says she's not taking this exhibit down and it will remain up until November 30th. I'm live tonight in North Omaha, Delon Diller, KTV News Watch 7.